Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So, I'm going to start a question bank series of each chapter that we had completed. So, first we are starting with stereochemistry. Now, why I'm starting this is because uh, along with learning the theoretical concept, it is very very important to solve a lot of questions because only after solving questions you will come to know whether you are able to apply the concept that you have learned or not. So, in this question bank series, we are go I'm going to post a lot of different types of questions where you will be able to improve your skill on how to approach a particular type of question. Okay, so the first question, today's question is, what is the question? Mark all the chirality centers. So, what I have to do is, what we have to do is to identify the chirality center in the formula of the lipid lowering drug this is the name of the drug that is given lower statin with the help of an asterisk okay we have to mark it with an asterisk that is how many chirality centers are present okay so this is a compound so let us start from here so let us first understand what exactly is a chirality center or a chiral center so here chiral center refers to a carbon atom we had seen this it is a carbon atom that is attached to four different groups carbon atom attached to four different groups is a chiral center if the groups are same what will happen plane of symmetry will be present and the molecule will be a chiral okay if the plane of symmetry or inversion center any one of the element of symmetry is present if both of these are any one of these is present then that molecule is a chiral Okay, so what we have to do is, it is a carbon atom attached to four different groups. It is a chiral center. So, now let us start marking the chiral centers. Is this a chiral center? No. Three hydrogens are same. This is also not a chiral center. Two hydrogens are same. Now, is this carbon a chiral center? One is methyl. Other group is ethyl. Third group is this. And fourth is what? Hydrogen that is not shown. Right? So, this is a chiral center is one chiral center next moving on to this carbon this carbon has forming is forming three sigma bond it is sp2 hybridized and sp2 hybridized carbons are not chiral they why because they are planar right trigonal planar geometry trigonal planar geometry so all the sp2 hybridized carbon atoms are what it is trigonal planar geometry so plane of symmetry is present that is molecular plane will be present so it is a chiral Okay, moving on to next carbon now this carbon is this chiral there is one oxygen here we have ch2 group here we have ch and this entire thing there is one hydrogen so this is also a chiral center so remember whenever there is a fused system mostly you will see that the terminal carbon if it is like this okay these carbons if it is sp3 hybridized it is going to be chiral let us see that how Okay, let us see this carbon is this chiral this is attached to methyl here there is double bond above there is ch2 and there is one hydrogen so this is also chiral okay now moving on to this this is sp2 this is not chiral this is also sp2 hybridized carbon sp2 sp2 so all these are a chiral now this carbon okay, this carbon is it chiral methyl here we have ch here we have sp2 hybridized carbon and then there is one hydrogen so this is also chiral okay now moving on to this carbon let's say this carbon is it chiral let us see okay this was chiral fine so this carbon if you see here there is ch and here also there is ch so you might think that the groups are same so it is a chiral but is it a chiral no what you have to do is in case of conjugated system or ring system like this, what you will do is they take some other color. Okay, we are looking for this blue carbon. Okay, here there is CH, CH. So move to the next carbon. Here there is CH2. Here there is carbon, hydrogen, and CH3. So CH2 and this. So both are different carbons. So both these groups are different. So if in it is in a form of a ring you what you have to do you have to check the adjacent carbon now suppose if here there is ch2 here also if there was ch2 then you will see the next carbon like this you have to check for all the carbons okay 
and if all of them are same then you can say that it is a chiral but is this chiral yes it is chiral okay these two groups are different here you have sp2 hybridized carbon and there is one hydrogen okay so this is chi uh, this is chiral center okay now let us talk about this chiral center this is is this chiral again here there is ch2 here there is ch ch3 here there is ch okay and then there is hydrogen so this is also a chiral center okay which which else is chiral is this chiral no two hydrogens are same is this chiral no two hydrogens are same is this carbon chiral let us see oxygen ch2 same you can see here again here there is ch2 and here below also there is ch2 so go for the next carbon okay now here there is ch2 but here above if you see there is choh okay so these two are different groups then there is hydrogen so hydrogen oxygen below there is this different group and here above there is this different group so this is also chiral okay now let us see the next one this is sp2 hybridized this is a chiral this has two hydrogen this is also a chiral now let us see this one is this chiral one is h oh third group is ch2 here also there is ch2 so check the next carbon here there is carbonyl group here is this any carbonyl group no this is ch so this is also chiral okay so in this way you have to check for the chirality now what i will do is we can count the total number of chiral centers that we have marked okay i can take some other color i can take this blue one okay one two three four five six seven and eight okay so total there are how many chiral centers eight okay, you can first solve by yourself and then you can check the answer so the answer for this question is what it is eight there are eight chiral centers Okay, if I want to mark in this, I can quickly mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you.